Some folks say aye. 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 All opposed? No. Item 14 okay. is East Arcadia Fire Advisory Board. Three people. Motion to take a point by Dr. F. Mungo and second by Bullock. Any discussion? All in favor say aye. aye. All opposed? Jury Commission 1. Motion by Mr. Trivick to reappoint. Second by Mr. Bullock. Any discussion? Keep Blade beautiful. We got uh, Stacy Kimball is going to resign, and we got a lady from a, a student from West Blade that wants to come on board. So we've got Allison Rockin' Well, she's not in the student position then, but you already have a student from West Blade now. She don't is have. in. She is an MC State, Kelly Lewis. Okay, so, so she was placed in that position. Yeah. That's what I'm asking. Yeah. And we still need one from East now. Right, I've asked them too. They're okay. trying to find someone. Okay. So. So Autumn Brisson to replace <coughs> Kelly Lewis. Okay. And then we got uh, Allison Rockenbach replaced Stacy Kimmel. Okay. Well, that's all we need. Just go to. Mm -hmm. We'll need one more piece of blood. Yeah, they, they're they're trying to find someone. I'm going to see it too. Yeah. Okay, much by it? Mr. Cogdell, second by second. Ms. Trivett. Any more discussion? One thing. I want to make sure when they send it to the school, I think she said it was 5, 5.30 or 5 o'clock meeting. We usually do um, the second Tuesday and every month at 5.30. Um, however, with our high school students, if I can just meet with them, if they will just, if they will meet with me, I will meet with them at any time. Because the people on the committee, they work, and so 5.30 works for them, or either a lunchtime meeting works for them. So we've done some of both. And the question is because they're, they had one that's uh, dual, yes. and you were thinking that person might be able to be there to do it during the day. Right. Okay, we'll work with it. We can just find someone that wants to do it. I will work with them on the meeting time. Mm -hmm. Dr. Fimmel goes, if you get a name, if you'll forward it to the son, she'll, she'll call and talk to them. And she, like, the last day, she talked to the parents and everything. Okay. So she'll help us if you will just give us a name. Mm -hmm. Okay, all in favor say aye. Aye. All opposed? Okay, we've got a couple of appointments for November the 18th, Bay, Bay Tree Lakes and Park Fire Department. Mm -hmm. And item 16 is county manager. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. I'd like to briefly review the calendar with you for the remainder of October as well as November. I'm going to point out that the diabetes forms continue at Baldwin Branch Church on uh, Wednesdays. I think it's every other Wednesday. This Thursday at 6 p.m., the Bladen Community College Foundation uh, fundraiser, Sunset and Vine is the name of it, will be held at Blue Mill Vineyard. Also this weekend on Friday and Saturday, the uh, 13th annual Beast Fest will be held in Bladesboro. You all are invited to that. Moving over to November, on Friday the 1st at 8.30 a.m., the Bladen County United Way Day of Caring event will be, take place at, uh, everyone will meet at the Cape Fear Farmers Market that morning at 8.30. On Monday the 4th at 8 a.m., there's a prayer service here. The board has a regular meeting at 6.30 p.m. Also, I wanted to let you know we are, um, making an effort to schedule the road naming dedication ceremony for at the county park for Robert Resort Drive that afternoon at 5.30 p.m. So I hope you all can, uh, we'll send you correspondence about that, but we just tried to get that scheduled earlier today. On Tuesday the 5th at 8.30 a.m., the Blaine County Ministerial Association meets at the hospital. The diabetes form continues on the 6th and the 20th of uh, November. On Thursday the 7th at 11 a.m., there will be a Veterans Day ceremony held at the Elizabethtown Presbyterian Church in the uh, pack building, the large, the gym behind the church. On Monday, the 11th, offices will be closed in observance of the Veterans Day holiday. On Tuesday, the 12th at 2 p.m., the opioid working group meeting will be held at the Blaine County Health Department. Also that evening at 5.30 at the Health Department, the Health and Human Services Advisory Committee meets. On Thursday the 14th at 7 p.m., the Blaine County Fire Association meeting will be hosted by the White Lake Fire Department, and the meeting will be held at the Training Center. On Friday and Saturday the 15th and 16th, the third annual Pork and Beets Festival uh, will take place at the Cape Fear Farmers Market. On Monday the 18th at 6.30 p.m., the board has a regular meeting here. Also that evening, we are uh, scheduling the 
cooperative extensions report to the people. You should re you'll be receiving notice about that from directly from cooperative extension, and we'll add it to the calendar as well. But that will be at 5 p.m. And then on Thursday and Friday, the 28th and 29th, offices will be closed in observance of the Thanksgiving holiday. Mr. Martin, yes, um, I hate to put anything else on you, but That's uh, and, and we probably can't do it this year. This year, the next year on Veterans Day. I would like to have all the names of the veterans on the courtyard with flags. Okay. We'll and see if we can. I'll do anything I can. I'm sure the rest of the commissioners can. If we could get uh, somebody, if county employees or Mr. Hammond or somebody to kind of lead that effort, if we put something together, I'd appreciate that. Okay. That'd really look good mm -hmm. on our blog for Veterans Day. Thank you. 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 That'd be a lot of work because we got to make sure we don't leave anybody out. Yeah, you leave somebody out here. here. <laughs> but that uh, that will be a that will be a charge for uh, for next year. Okay, that's a good suggestion. Maybe maybe start this year and then. Give me a well, we can start, name but we won't we won't be able to do it this year. We ain't got the time. No, no, no. I mean to get it started yeah. and then yeah. for next year. Yeah. 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 Good. good. Thank, thank you, Chairman. Moving on to item B, we have a proposed uh, agreement with you at seeking your consideration for approval. It is a third party benefits administrator service contract with Lacey West Thomas Insurance for the benefit year of January 1st, 2020 through December 31st, 2020. And as we discussed uh, extensively at previous meetings, we do plan to have a review in the, uh, I guess the early third quarter of 2020, which would be the early summer right after July or so, right after the budget is adopted. And um, because it, as always, there's a 90-day out call. So if we want to if we want to revisit this matter or whatever again, I know there's been discussion about that. Then we'll kind of have a better sense of where we are, and we'll be able to do that if that's the board's decision. My pleasure, board. Motion by Mr. Briggs, second by Dr. Ruthie Mem Goins. Any more discussion? Question. I just have one comment. Yes, At the end, it says the term of the contract. It says it audit, it shall automatically renew from that term without any notice. And so to me, I don't think that's fair. If we said we're gonna look at it and we'll because it's a one year contract. So so how are you Well that's the thing. We we would give them notice if Okay, this will this becomes becomes effective January first. Mm -hmm. So we would need to provide notice by October first or September thirtieth of next year. September. So therefore okay. we were thinking let's look at it uh, the top of July with the board and figure out what how you want to uh, we'll have a better sense of where we are with regard to these benefits and that type of thing is that and we can revisit the time frame if you want to so what you're saying yeah. are you saying that we the county will have the right have to terminate job. the contract um, at the end of yes. you, you this have the, period you, every year yeah every anytime yeah. 90 okay. days but out if or if there's calls it will automatically if, renew. or there's a 90 day out clause if um, services aren't being done. okay yeah, and there are various reasons for that. Uh, yeah, yeah, qualify good. for that. Mm -hmm. All yes. aye. 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 All opposed. My own comment, I didn't get to say, but our data, we'll get our data in July. That's why I'm thinking we'll have a better sense of what we have, to, you know, what we have as far as that type of thing. So I, I we'll, mean, you gotta have some data, otherwise it's kind of hard to go right. on something. That's what he said. He said he would provide data and do an audit on it and provide it to us in time to that's why keep it from canceling. And uh, the, the third item is just to update you on the community-based grants initiative uh, through the Golden League Foundation. As we discussed at the last meeting, um, the, the primary project that we're aware of is the driving van project. And as Ms. Sandra Guyton spoke to you all earlier, um, the Golden League funds would ideally serve as the 20% match for the EDA grant. And again, just to remind you as a breakdown, if it's a $6.5 million project, 80% will be $5.2 million, the balance will be one point three. And so, as we indicated at the last meeting, the county has the opportunity to submit letters of interest for uh, up to four projects, totaling $2 million. Then Golden Leaf meets in December, we'll make the kind of determine, they'll whittle down the list and see who makes the shortcut. And, um, then we have the opportunity to make full application in February <coughs> or notice in April of award. So um, again, just to reiterate, 1.3 million for the driving pad project. Again, a total of 1.5 would be the max that the county could receive 
I know the community college, and we mentioned this at the last meeting, has a project that uh, they're working on. Right now, <coughs> I think it's unclear if it will be included in the county's project or if it will be a, 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 one of the regional projects Stand -alone. or standalone project. And so, uh, if you all are, I mean, I, I want to be sure we kind of have a good understanding of what we plan to, to submit again. The deadline is noon on November 1st, so before we meet again. And can we can but, we do uh, when y'all saying y'all would do a standalone region project? I'm sorry, what? I said, can we get a letter from you guys saying that you would do a standalone region project? Well, we um, we're <coughs> going to apply for the what we hope would be the balance of the funds. Yeah, th that's what I was going to say. One one perspective we may want to really think hard about if the county only submits one project for the. You know, and, and we don't submit anything else, and then we're not asked to submit a full application, then we can't add anything at that point. So, if the community college's project is no more, with the driving pad project totals no more than 1.5, it may be in the county's interest to, for that project to be in the county as one of the county's projects. And then, if the driving pad project doesn't come to fruition, then at least we're going to have funding for the community college project, which is an important. Project. So your project will be, how much would they be seeking? Yeah. Is it 200 dollars Around 200 I'm not okay. sure. I just want to make sure that we don't get the bumping over money. No, yeah. We don't want to do that either. Okay. Mr. Pleasure and more. Mr. Fred, second by Mr. Privet. Any discussion? All in favor say aye. Aye. All in favor. Individ. Three, get the deck and I think I want to ask Mr. Martin something. Yes, sir. Do something. Mr. Martin, is there any way possible that you can give to the board the a listing of property that's all the properties that's owned by the county that need to be liquidated as far as land? Hey, yeah, Mr. Uh, Mr. Cardinal, that's a good question. Let me just ask Renee since she's here. Renee Davis, is that the list of 41? That is the list that's on. The website. That's a standing list on the county's website. So how many pieces of property do you have? Around 40. Right now it's 40, 40, 40, 40, 40. Well, the only reason I was asking this, I've I, I looked at some of the properties, some people have spoken with me about property, and we are asking for certain amounts for them. And I'm just trying to figure out if that's going to be possible for us to get up. Do we need to crack them up with another solution to liquidate this stuff and get rid of it? One thing, um, so so we're fortunate that the tax office is doing a good job of maintaining an active list, and that's available to the public and that type of thing at any time. Um, it has been the board's practice to consider to seriously consider offers that meet or exceed the county's cost. And so, if that direction was to change, then um, that that's fine, but that would need to be a decision so that you don't feel like Ms. Davis is coming in with bogus proposals. Now, the only reason I was saying, you know, if, you, if, you, if it was some kind of process where somebody could offer a price on it, at least to put it back on the tax books, you know, at least you can generate some revenue, but we got a piece of property. Like one gentleman said he got a piece of property. He's willing to pay $2,000 for it, and we want six for it. And nobody else is offering to buy it, so how long are we going to let it sit there off the books? The next 30 years, or what do we, do we yeah. have to liquidate that kind of problem? Anybody that's interested in any kind of land, land should come propose a bid, and the board will decide what we're going to say for the law. See if we can start liquidating it that way. Well, you, you open the door, you're going to be in trouble. And, 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 and by accepting it, uh, Mr. Chairman, I know you know, I mean, I know you mean it or implying it, but just to make it clear, uh, accept it to begin the upset bid right. process, and then it will be advertised in the paper just like you, well, just like we normally do. So, so anyone would have the opportunity to pay more if they wanted to. Okay, I'm just trying to figure out where's the starting point where you start trying to move some of this stuff. If a person came in here and Ms. David comes in, she gives us her, us her recommendation right. as to what she wants to do with it. But somebody walked in here and said, I offer half of that amount. Can we go ahead and start the bidding process to see if it'll bid out to where we at it or, or get the maximum amount out of it? No, once you start the like bidding process, it's sold. That's what I'm saying. But, if, but I'm saying that they offer... Three hundred thousand, three thousand dollars for a piece in here, and we accept that to open the bidding process. Can we open it that way? If the board approves it, like I'm asking, can the we open it and then start that process? But once you start the process, the land's gone at the end of the ten days. That's what I'm saying. So you can't uh, say 
No, but one time. Right. I'm just trying to figure out how can we start liquidating some of that's not level. We need to take a look at some of that property that, that's uh, not worth what it's <coughs> owed on it. Well, that's what we're doing. We're doing a better job of not letting people get as far behind. And these for sale signs have really been yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. generating activity. Yeah. Mr. Chairman, Mr. I got a question. Ms. Coleman, did you say that the dress collection cost is arising? The hauling and the collections have increased. Is that because of trash coming from other counties? That's, we don't. Uh, we can't see anything on the that would indicate such, but the tonnage reports have been up. Across the whole county, I not hate just to be in rude, specific. but that the, the things that I'm giving you to talk about is not on agenda, and I'm not having this board up for comment. So at this time, I'll entertain a motion to adjourn. Mr. Okay. Good, second by Mr. Dallas. All in favor, say aye. Aye. aye.